Hi guys, it's Elmer, your file protection guy. Now, I got more than 90 messages regarding an intermittent fault in this system. The message came from the monitoring company and I received that message every time there is an alarm and a fault here as the maintenance company. So, let's check what is that intermittent fault. After isolating the ASE and the ancillaries, let's check the fault. Menu, password is 222222822, 22, that's the password. Okay, I already punched the password. Let's go to H4, 4, enter, and then event log 7, enter, general event log. Scroll down, enter, sensor 0117 address. All right, this gone nuts. So the, this is always on, off, on, off. Now let's check the black plan and remove the black plan there. Let's zoom in. All right, zone number one, that's 01, 001, detector 17. So the black plan says detector 17. Okay, let's check. In here what is detector 17 all right okay so escape escape all right sensor values of 17 uh, let's not go further than that let's do service h5 now let's activate that detector h8 enter all right activate alarm mode so this is one way to find out the detector if the block plan is not right. According to that, 17. Let's check downstairs if that detector 17 is located in that spot. But let's activate that detector first. Activate alarm in mode. Enter. So everything is isolated. Occupant warning isolated. That's isolated. AC is isolated. And then we can. Oh, that's zone one, one seven, enter. Okay, we got an alarm, but there's no noise. So let's go downstairs and search for the detector 17. Okay, so what will happen because it's on alarm, that detector mm, LED red light should be on. We are in basement two and we are in front of the lift all right according to that detector should be here but it's not here let's check this detector the led light should be on it's not on fault right now so that's not 17. All right so it should be somewhere here let's check There's no red light there. Okay. So it's a bit of a search. That means we don't have a reliable floor plan. Our next thing to do is look for the technical description of that particular detector. Okay. Now the detector 17 saying basement two store room all right now you know 100% for sure that that floor plan is wrong according to the technical description it will be located in basement 2 store room I'm on my way to that store room that's the storage room Okay, so if the technical description is also wrong, that means the technical location, you have to look for that red light one by one. You have to check if any of these detectors have a red light, a steady light. That means that's the detector 17 or the detector you want to find. In this case, luckily, hopefully, I mean, not luckily, but hopefully, the storage room, according to the description, is where Detector 17 is. Let's open it up. I had the key. Oops, so we open already. Alright. 
Keep sucking on. All right. See that one? All right. Now you can see the detector 17. It's lighting up. The LED is blinking. So we find detector 17. So this is the right spot. It's correct. It is the description where the, lo the detector will be located is correct. But the floor plan is wrong. Now what I'm going to do, either I scribble it because the floor plan said this is number 24, the detector. But it, if I do that, it will be another job because I have to check one by one again based on the floor plan and I have to change the floor plan. Okay, so that's a bigger job. Okay, let's pick this problem first. That detector is number 17. And this is 17. But look, there's no address in the detector. Right? Normally somebody will write there 17. I'll give you an example. That detector there. Let's pull it out. Alright. And let's see what's the address of that detector. Detector number 25. See? Put a number on there. 25. So let's put it back. Now, what is my next move? My next move is to swap that 25 to that detector 17. I'm going to readdress that using my programmer. I'm going to address this now. This is from the this 17, it will become 25. And that 25 will become 17, I will swap them. If the fault came back as 25, that means the, this detector need to be replaced. Okay, sometimes most of the problem are just loose connection or loose contact. There's nothing wrong with the base. The base is totally not wet, there's no corrosion. So definitely what I'm going to do is just tighten those uh, terminal there before I put the detector which is coming from there. Okay, let's do it now. Now this is your two detectors, detector 25 and detector 17. There's no address. What I'm going to do, this now become 25. 25, sorry, it's very hard to write. So I'll put that 25 and this one will become 17. Okay, so I scribble that out, 17, 25, so 25. And then I'm going to change the address using this. Very hard, sorry, very hard to work in one hand. Using my programmable tool, my setting tool, I'll check that is 25. Let's read, read. So reading, my detector number is 25. Okay, so I'm going to change the 25. So I will write here, write. And then I'll put 17, 1, 7. And then, okay, and then enter, uh, which is right. Okay, and then it's writing. Now it will become number 17. Okay, let's clear that up. Let's read if it's 17. Now the address of that detector now is 17. I will do the same to the other detector. So clear. Let's put this to that. This will be on B, that will be on A. So this is, let's read first, read. So it's reading, so that the address now is 17. We're going to change that to 25. And then write 25. Now it's number 25, okay? And then let's read. Let's read it, that is 25. Okay, so it's 25 now, so let's clear. We're going to put this 25. To there, okay? Let's grab our ladder. And then install this detector here. Bingo. And this one, after tightening the terminal of that empty base, 
we're going to install detector 17 here all right on we need some light now we have lights so at that 17 17 let's put this thing in oh that's three slots where's the three slots there all right yeah that all right that's 17. normally what you're going to do is get your texture okay or your permanent marker and put there 17. Not on the detector because the detector can be replaced, but the base stays. So I put 17 there. As a service technician, you should know the trick in servicing. So this is one of the tricks that I have shown you. If you are on site and you don't have any spare detector, what you can do is swap that problem detector to an existing detector. If it's conventional, it's easy. All you have to do is just clean the detector, the conventional one. Okay, in addressable, you must have the proper tool. Like this one, I have the tool. But I don't have the detector. If I had detector, the first thing you're going to do probably is just change the detector. How about if the detector is not the problem? So everything is trial and error. How about the problem is the base? So what I'm going to do now, what I did already, was swap them, change the address, that was the one I showed you. So, if the problem, 25 now is the problem, that means that detector that came from 17 is really faulty and need to be changed. If the problem became number 25, all right, that means you have a problem with the base. Right now, Everything is clear on the fire panel. All right. Now, how about the issue of wrong floor plan? I already know that floor plan is wrong when I did a 100% test in the building. But it's too expensive for them to change the floor plan. Okay? If I do that, that will cost them thousands of dollars, maybe around two thousand dollars, just to change the floor plan, and they don't want to go ahead with it. Okay. Most important is you fix the problem. All right. This is Elmer, your fire protection guy. I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.